So in this video, we will see the example of direct exchange uh, for RabbitMQ using the Node.js. So let's get started. So first of all, we will require a library and then uh, we will require a connection URL. So instead of the connection um, localhost, we will use our uh, RabbitMQ host that is remote host. So the IP address is here and now we will uh, create an exchange name. So we will create a variable for exchange, my direct exchange. Then we create a two queues, Q1 and Q2. These are very simple steps. If there is a complexity, I will de definitely uh, explain in detail. So I'm not going much in detail. They are variable declaration and all. And then uh, we have a two routing key info and error. And then we will create a function which is taking the exchange routing key and the message. There is a send message. We'll do send and receive in the same. And then we'll have a uh, same program. Then we'll have a receive message function which takes the queue name and routing key because receiving receive message will already you know get the message so we don't need to pass anything like a message then we have a tie catch block because everything we do inside the tie catch and we have a catch block the similar block will have you know receiving message okay so now in the same message we'll get the connection from the declaration of the variable that we have URL so once we get the connection we need a channel channel is a virtual connection so we cannot directly use a connection we need a channel and then we have to declare the exchange using the the similar this is the similar way of we are declaring the queue so if there is no exchange then the exchange will be created and if there is an action it will use it and then we will publish our message okay so in, in the publishing message we have an exchange we have a routing key and then we have a message now in the byte form and then we'll close the channel and the connection don't worry about this formatting okay and then in case of any error then we have a console.error so similar way we will try the receiving message again initially we need a connection and channel then we will also declare the queue respective queue because the queue will uh, listen and then we need a binding of that queue so using the channel dot bind queue where you pass the queue name exchange and the routing key and then we have a callback function which will uh, consume the channel dot consume we already seen the receiving message in the previous example so it will just take the message and it will log the message and it will just pass the placeholder like queue name what is the queue name and what is the route key and the message content okay now it's time for us to use both the messages so first of all both the methods so first of all at the end we use the send message info message one then we'll send the info message two and with the routing key one and then the next is a we have a routing key two which has error message okay so if you go we have a routing key error and routing key one is in info and then we have the same way we will receive the two q and two routing keys based on test q and routing key okay so let's try to run 
now we got already received message on error so for the error we already got so let's try to rerun this is the message on 1 1 and 2 all the message we have received now whatever we have sent and at the time of the receiving the message we are already binding the queue with the routing key so this is a very simple example of the direct exchange just try it with changing the host name i share this example in the resource section thanks for watching see you in the next video